guys. Back here at the beach, Stephanie and Oliver Chavis, Salty Reflections. Thank you for clicking on our video today. We're gonna explore this beach and see what we can find to show you. Look here. It's a jellyfish. It is deceased. And they've marked this dune area. Just please keep out. Temporary closure. Release turn nesting area. Ooh, look at this. It's just a broken piece, but look how big this would have been. That shark eye. Wow. That was a big one. Pretty olive. Horseshoe crab. Shell. Yep, and it is empty. The other beach animals, critters, have already cleaned it out. Look how big these barnacles are on the back. It's a big guy. That angel wing. Here, a little stone crab claw. A piece of sea wilt. So the purple color's already worn off of it. Look at here. A little spider crab. You wanna see? Spider crab shell? No, it's crab shell. Yeah, it's crab shell. What you have in your bucket, Odie? Um, shells. Shells? Okay. Emma. And does Emma's bucket got some shells yeah, too? Yeah, she got some shells. Oh, look at here. Oh, look at that. This is a whelk egg casing. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got an arc shell. Look, yeah. you picked up a cockle. Yeah, they're twins. Yeah. I'm gonna say those shells were twins. <laughs> this pretty piece of coral. No, it's not twins. Oh. Mm -hmm. I pretty angel wings. I Look at these little angel wing pairs. I see lots of little angel wing pairs out here. Another crab claw. Yeah. Another whelk egg casing buried in the sand. has opened already. Looks like the holes are open and filled with sand. You got a jellyfish, Odie? That's a cannonball jellyfish. Yeah, jellyfish. Watch out for these shells. Don't step on them. They cut your feet.
You think you found a shark's tooth? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got a shark's tooth in there? We'll have to examine that later. But I bet you're getting your eyes trained to be able to find some one day. What is it? Look at that huge jingle. Mermaid scale. That's beautiful. Looks like Odie's found a big piece of driftwood. It's a log. Yeah. Oh, look how the water and the little snails and animals have have done this piece of driftwood. Yeah. All those little tiny holes in it. That's pretty cool. This is a super neat piece of driftwood. It's a little big though. Come back from that way, Odie. Don't go over there. See that sign says you cannot go up there. They got birds up there nesting and they nest on the ground, so it's not safe for people to be walking around up there. I do see where the tide has breached way up there in some areas. So I hope they have their nest built higher than that. And I was walking closer up here to the bank just because I want to show you this just outside of this little area where they've got marked not to go. These vase basket sea sponge. I've had a couple of you ask me about those in particular, so if you're interested in it, check out our description, find out ways it can be yours. Thank you to all of our patrons for being able to allow us to do some shell giveaways. So look at some of these pretty things we find. Thank you, Odie. It's a really pretty cockle. And a large arc. But he's still bringing some sand. That old crab pot up here. Some trash, somebody's old cork. Got lots of other people out here looking today, guys. Let's check out this crab trap. It's been stuck out for a while. All that growth all over it got sand built up in it and even some seashells down in there and all that sand that big piece of rope Let me get that up so it doesn't get tangled up on some bird what? Oh, you got a seashell? Uh, Thank you. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, don't put them in there like that. You're gonna break them. Don't break them. Oh, hold on, hold on. Leave them in there for a second. Hold on. Huh? What you got? Isn't this like a little kitten's paw? It is, mm -hmm. looks like. Cute, cute. Oh, that's what that was. We don't find those a lot here. <laughs> see what's closer down to the water's edge. Because I see that people have walked up and down. So let's see what the water's bringing in for us right now.
nothing out of the ordinary yet guys so i'm just walking through with y'all there's a knob whelk it is broken look at that there's a huge pile of shells all stuck together Shark eye shell. There's a baby shell. The baby shell? Yeah. Okay. Y'all want to show you their finds. Don't yeah. take it in with that one's breakable. Look how dark that cockle is that she just brought to us. Yeah. How do you got a whole bucket full of green shells? Look how purple that one is. Oh, yeah, this one? The cockle? <laughs> yep. Yeah, they're similar. Oh, look at that baby's ear. That one's huge. Beautiful. You want to take another step to throw it away. I know it. Shark eye shell there. It's got its traditional drill mark in it. Oh, look at that little whelk. Very pretty. And it is empty. Y'all finding some good stuff? I see y'all putting all kind of stuff in these buckets. We're going to have to go back through them. Maybe re-beach some of them later. That one's pretty. It's got a little hole in it. Look at that blue muscle, the iridescent color. The man on the inside, pretty. It is almost black. It would have been a really big shark eye. Black. See, I'm trying to figure out what it's probably been about. That big around. So. Too bad it's broken. It's a big old clam there. Huge one. And those are really common to our area, so I do keep them sometimes if they're really big and if they have like some pretty colors. You hear this pretty oyster shell. That's pretty, the colors on it, how, how dark black it is to the contrast of the whites and the purples in the inside. Broken black olive. A periwinkle snail. You guys that are watching this make sure you give our video a like and subscribe if you haven't yet we enjoy bringing you guys along to the beach with us and y'all let us know that y'all enjoy it too so that way we want to keep putting you guys out there with us little venus clam
tons and tons and tons of the little coquina. These little ones here, the little tiny clam shell looking ones. Pretty auger. Look, it's got a little chip in it. A drill mark, probably how he died. Other univalves and the auger. It's a univalve itself. But other univalves like the whelk and other augers. The drill shells and shark eye shells. They actually eat other seashells. The snails out of them. So they drill a hole into the side of them and suck them out after they basically poison them. Liquefies their insides. like the littles are catching up oh look at that pretty auger how yellow it is wow it's like very orangey yellow yes ma'am oh you're pulling the wagon it's too heavy it's too heavy okay we'll stop pulling it right there then leave it right there why are you still trying to pull it if it's too heavy you ain't got nothing to prove leave it there I see it. Yeah, the water's coming in. Oh yeah, a big old oyster. How yeah, pretty, pretty it is one. on the inside. Yeah, it's kind of glowing. And I got this one, the color's kind of faded now, mm -hmm. but it was real like baby pinks and yeah. baby blues. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty when they're wet, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Colors. Mm -hmm. That is pretty. I see all those seashells. I was coming up here to see if you seeing anything good. What is that? No, don't fill it in. That's the crab hole. He ain't gonna be able to get out if you fill his hole in. Ooh, a little tiny egg casing. Razor clam. Ooh, look at that little beauty. Some olive. Making sure I don't see anything in there. Nope. Really pretty. Covered in like a matrix and some barnacles. I got oh, okay. What, what is her mom? See there, you got a cohide clam in there. What oh, is her mom? and you got a pretty shell. What? That's a pretty little will. Don't take it to your mama. You said. Where is mama? Where is its mama? I don't know. You think that one's too little? You looking for its mama, huh? Here, put that one in Nini's shell so she can hold it for you. Uh -huh. Oh, you want to hold that one? All right, we'll hold them. It's a really pretty gray piece of coral. I don't know. We're, we're looking for its mama and its great big granddaddy. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. 
How many of y'all want to see that little tiny baby whelk's great big granddaddy? Great great granddaddy. Another really pretty piece of art out here on the beach. Just natural driftwood. It looks like a little chair almost, doesn't it, Emma? <laughs> Ooh, look at here. It's a horseshoe crab shell. Check out that piece. What's that? Is that her mama? No. You done dropped the other shell, the olive? Yeah. So I guess that'll be somebody else's beach tre treasure out here today. Broken angel wing. That was a pretty gray color though. Check out this shark eye. Oh, that one's whole. It's got this little drill mark on it. Yep, you got an oyster. Oh, and look at this little shark eye behind you. It's an oyster shell that fits like your finger. Yeah, that's her mommy. Oh, you think that one's her mommy? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've seen quite a few people out here today walking, so. I would assume that a lot of the really good ones are probably gone. But some people walk out here just to walk. They're not really, you know, shelling. So, you never know. Ooh, like this beauty. Like this gorgeous thing here. Oh, wow. How perfect is that one? Beautiful. In our little basket. Ooh. Another beautiful treasure. Look at that pretty olive shell. South Carolina State shell. That's where we are, South Carolina. On a barrier island in Beaufort County. Lots of really big, pretty oyster shells and other shells. Oh, look here. Pretty olive shell. Still has its sheen. It's packed full of other little tiny shells, which is normal. And they are deceased and can be taken home. And on a pretty big shell section here, so. anything there's a big piece of olive look and it's broken of course but look at the colors on it auger 
lots of coquina and clam and little talons. Another auger. Mark shells. Broadway Carditas. Pieces of shark eye shell. Marginella and auger. Cross hatch leucine. And a little black auger. Of a yellowy color, white and yellow. Dark olive. Cockle. It's kind of worn down. And the colors have been changed from our puff mud, no doubt. But look how pretty. This is different than our regular cockle that we find here. Here, I'll show you a comparison. Here's a common cockle to us. You can see the shape here. This one's more egg shaped, like an oval. Beautiful. That gorgeous olive. And look at there. That clips in this cohog clam there. Orange and purple. Beautiful. And I do see in the dunes a few turtles' nests marked. I have one there and one there for sure. There's a, this little stob sticking up with the orange markings. It's got some letters and numbers and things like that up there on it. I'm not gonna go up into the dunes to show you. It is turtle nesting season here in South Carolina, so um, definitely stay out of the dunes. arcs, piece of coral, some oyster shells. Look how pretty though that oyster is. Looks like a hoof almost. Shark eye shell faded. It's a little chipped up and broken on the ends. It's still big, so I almost don't keep it. But y'all, would y'all keep that? Who else would keep that? Matter of fact, tell me who wants it. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know you want it. I'll make sure that is in the shell drawing. You 
guys make sure you leave a comment whenever you see our videos post when we do our channel giveaways it will be you know i guess a comment post that is picked so make sure you comment on the videos To that knob look it's broken still a beauty I'll leave it there someone else beach charger broken angel wing Razor clam there beside it. And gray in color. Look at there. How gorgeous. It is broken. Still beautiful. And guys, anytime I'm walking past areas like this, what I normally do is I like to pause it and kind of see if I see anything. Because I even look whenever I'm watching our own videos. I inevitably see stuff all the time that we miss. For that cross hatched lucine there. Pour some trash. Slip it under there. Guys, when you go to the beach, you're supposed to leave nothing behind but your footprints. Hopefully the trash that we pick up, you know, was lost unintentionally. But we ride up and down roads all the time that have trash thrown on the sides like people don't even respect where they live. Another crosshatch lucine. The big blue muscle. It's kind of overcast today, but you can even still see that shine in there. Give you a view of the beach for a second. 
I'm gonna say it's overcast today. Let you get a glimpse. It's pretty cloudy. Got some bright patches of blue, but lots of fluffy white clouds too. Who knows what that is? a piece. I have not seen a whole one out here today. see that pattern in it still because of its coloration but that's the crossbarred venus clam it's really dark for this area normally they're white and kind of bleached out Ooh, look at there it is broken and yes still beautiful Man, that would have been a good size shark eye and the colors on it. Ooh, look at there. Don't even have to fake it. There. Just washed in by the waves. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Awesome. Awesome. View for South Carolina. Knob Wilk. Speed up around the lip. But look at those whorls and those colors. Woohoo! That's a beauty. Oh, oh, oh look at that. One of those mermaid shells. See that shimmer? That gold shimmer? That razor clam? on that clam. A couple full of arcs. Oh, look at the colors. That's a beauty. So, I had 
just seen a couple other beauties. There was a olive. There it is. And there was a black piece. So oh, it was just a piece of a wheel. Thought so, but just checking. That wave almost took them from me. I mean, y'all love chasing the shells in the waves. You know, that makes it a little bit more of a challenge, doesn't it? They're trying to get away. Oh, it's a pair. Didn't even see the other one there. Jackknife razor clams. Still hinged together. A little tiny hinge right there. Also the jack, I mean the razor clam, not the jack knife, but just the razor clam. Showed you the mermaid one earlier. This is why I called it the mermaid. See a lot of the ones we find are already bleached out in white like that. Whereas this one still has a little bit of the outer layer that was covering the shell back when it was alive. You can still see that mermaid shimmer. So it's pretty cool. Some of the shells shimmer more once that part comes off. Say like the pin shells and the blue mussels. But then some are, oh, look at there. I almost missed it. I'm glad they whistled at me as they flew by. Beautiful pelicans. But some of the shells are more shimmery with that still on there, with that part of the shell. So very cool how unique they all are that was a pretty cockle i just put in there and there is a sailor's ear also known as the channel duck clam look at this oyster shell it's all flat here and then it's got the little flares let the water wash it off so you can see it a little better beautiful So yes, yeah, some of our very common shells are beautiful. Look at that. Wow. And that is broken, but that will still look great in my little seashell garden. So she's gonna be a keeper. Beautiful. The tide's coming in. It's actually probably pretty close to high tide you guys that watch our channel a lot you can always compare to these poles to see how high the water is up past them and you know sometimes when it's low tide sand even still goes way out so you can see the tide's pretty high right now it's another reason why we're not finding a whole lot there's not as much beach to search some really pretty cockles and oysters though still Here's a hinged razor clam. You can see it is deceased. It's full of sand. 
and the hinges on there very lightly. That's what they look like. Beautiful. And oysters come all kinds of crazy shapes and sizes. You see, they just grow and attach to one another. So you can see this one is kind of curved, whereas that one is fairly straight. Look at this one. It's almost in the shape of a nest. It's a backwards nest, but there you go. For Stephanie from Salty Reflections. <laughs> through it. Oh, look at that clam. That one's different. So see, like I said, we have tons and tons of these clam shells here, these quahog clams, and they are just very, very common. So these are like really bleached out. Their outer layer is gone off of them completely. Even the coloration on the inside has been bleached out. They've been tossed around so much. But check this one out. It is so blue. And blue is our favorite color. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> so of course blue is definitely a favorite for us. So gorgeous. Whereas this is a little bit more typical even when they're not as faded out. You see that like little purple edge there. That one is gorgeous blue. And I saw this other little clam here too, that little Venus clam. I like the little rings of color on it as well. Little pinks, some purple, even a little dark blue ring at the back, some oranges. piece of wealth is going to be broken most likely. Yep. Thought from the way it was sitting it looked like it was broken. But really pretty whorls. Those are the little twirls in them. There. Another pretty clam. Got lots of oranges on the outside. Purples on the inside. Another one of those Clemson Tiger clams. We are in South Carolina, although Oliver and I, neither of us keep up with football too much. Um, of course, can't deny some of your best teams in the state. Another one of those little striped clams. Oh, and look at the colors on the inside of that. That's pretty. Let's check that one out. Oh, broken. And that razor clam there caught my eye as well. The, the blues and little white stripes and grays in it. Loving these blue shells today. just a lot of our really common shells 
but this gives you a little better look at some of those since I've been able to show you those some more close up versus some of our more cool ones that we normally find. Not that the oysters are not cool, because I mean, look how thick that thing is. That is pretty damn blame cool, but we just see them so much. That's a really cool one. inside there look like little teeth or gears that connect together very cool the sea foam th through here is very pretty See white caps way out shore, way offshore. So it looks like it would be a rough day out there today. Good day for beach waves though. Look at these waves. Be a great day for playing in the waves. I just love how the sand looks at times. So look at our tracks where a cart went through. After a couple swipes of the ocean, it's like it never even happened. Just makes a beautiful art in the sand. big angel wing too. Look how wide that is. It would have probably been like this long. Here's a razor clam. A little different. It's kind of peach and pink. Oh, look at how kind of beige the inside is. Very different. broken but I'm gonna show you these colors look at there those little white rings going right into that center mesmerizing you stare into the rings like the salty reflections videos <laughs> Just kidding you guys of course i hope you guys like the videos if you watch us up to this point so click that like button make sure you subscribe check out our video descriptions see how you can make some of these shells your own make sure you leave us a comment so when we do a giveaway for today's shelling video your comment can be an option of being chosen Another little shark eye shell that's broken. Seas have broken them all up for us. 
thanks to our Patreons, our, our patrons on Patreon for helping us out. That sometimes gives them some shells. Also, it helps us to be able to fund to ship shells to the winner of our giveaways. So thank you to all of our patrons for supporting our channel. That information on how to become a patron is in the video description as well. Check it out. Feels good. So check that out. So this is a bunch of the reeds kind of stuck together, or I say reeds that I'm, I'm calling dead Spartina grass, pieces of reeds, kind of like this. But you can see them stuck in there. With little tiny pieces of shells and coquina attached all over it, just like it does to those tube worm casings and that kind of stuff. Kind of neat. Blue mussel. See that beautiful shimmer in there. There's another blue mussel. Oysters, oysters, oysters. I know somebody who would have loved to have eaten some of these oysters. That's Mr. Oliver. Love some some oysters. How many of y'all out there like oysters? Oh yeah, I know some of you do. People in this area love them too. They say, matter of fact, our oysters from this area, the Buford area, has some of the best salinity. So they have really good um, oysters, supposedly. I'm not an oyster fan, but for those of you who do love them, they love the Buford ones. Pretty cockle. It's just a very characteristic cockle. Looks just like they're supposed to. This one's a little beat up on the edges, but you see how it's got some discoloration, some dark colors. Knob wilt. And as y'all can tell guys, I'm leaving a lot of these broken beauties here on the beach. Uh, I guess I need to have a shell intervention maybe. I'm trying. Y'all are my witness. I have been leaving some behind. They are so beautiful to me. Oh, look at that pretty piece of sea wilt. It's the first really nice piece of sea wilt we've seen today. And it's wet. I hope you can see that pretty purple color. It's got some sea foam on it. Oh, there you go. See that color a little better there now.
there's a really pretty example of the reg neon like normal coha clam and the way it looks and it's still alive it still has this outer sheen on it see how it's faded off here and it will just you know if it sits out in the sun it'll just continue to fade out and bleach out right now it's still got that little shimmer that mermaid shell on the inside look here where the actual clam was attached and it's pretty colors you can see that pretty ridge line right there that beautiful purple gorgeous clam shell and I've seen some people do some beautiful artwork with those as well, just like people do with the oysters. So they can turn these really common looking shells into some masterpieces. back by that pretty piece of driftwood I showed you guys earlier. Looks like Mr. Odie is burying something in the sand. Oh, you burying your feet? You are? Are you having a good time, Odie? Do you like playing at the beach? You tell them to give you a thumbs up. <laughs> yes. All you want to say is yes. All right, let's go see what Mama and Emma's doing. They're right up here. Oh, stop. It bubbled. How I many of you guys like to do that? Let your feet sink down in the sand. It's a cool feeling, right? Let you know you have arrived. You are at the beach. such an awesome thing to be experiencing <laughs> he doesn't even want to stop it's definitely nice to have your feet in the sand no wonder he's buried them is this guys do y'all know I know somebody out there knows tell me what type of little crab this is it's got those little speckles all over its shell it's kind of a greenish brown color and on the inside of the joints of its claws it has like a little purpley joint color white underneath we see them here occasionally but not much bigger than that so i would like to know if they do get bigger than that what type what kind they are they're pretty Ooh, look that little jingle there that little gold jingle and look at that little blue muscle tiny but so adorable And even that oyster shell, look how pretty that oyster is. And this one. The sheens inside of it, that color. And look at the back, it's just kind of blah. But look at there. Gorgeous. Can 
Golden Ball jellyfish. Is it? There's like a sea cucumber? Oh yeah, say. I think so. He just shriveled back in. Right. So I was gonna put him back in the water, but I yep. wanted to. Oh, look at your other goodies. Yeah, I found you this. Yeah. He was empty, and I found two of those within a few feet apart. Oh, the sand dollars. Yep. Right down here, so I can see what she's got. A broken piece of glass, and put that down in the bucket. She's got a Venus clam. I think it's the crossbar Venus clam. Really pretty jingle. Two pretty sand dollars. Hint, I said earlier I had not found any, if anybody still did not know what that broken piece was. A little piece of an oyster. It's a really pretty piece too. I'm gonna take these out so you guys can see what outside this horseshoe crab looks like. Yep. So Regina's got her some decor, some beach decor. Regina, what else you got in your basket? Oh yeah, look at there. That was just floating. How pretty though. The colors, greens, oranges, blacks, grays. And this one, a little yep. well. A little pitted well. well. Yep. And Oh, look at that piece of ton shell. Is that, that is what that is? Yeah, that is exactly what that is. And that would have been a big one too. Yeah, yeah you see that ridge right there? That's characteristic of their inside, okay. of their aperture. They have that big ridge there. Yeah, Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah. But, um, found some. This one's, it's got a broken spot in yeah. it. But it's that I think we may have even checked that color. out earlier. Does that look like the same one to you guys? Same broken spots, but that is pretty. You guys know the only reason I didn't keep it is because I'm in um, Shellers Anonymous now, I guess. <laughs> oh, look, Oliver's and there is been trying to. In this one, you can see okay. it right there. See? And, they are, and it is dried up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I can see you it see right it coming in there. Out. One yep. of them's about to fall out. Yep. But I got a few casings oh a big um, knob weld right there oh look at that pretty oyster that's yeah. pretty take it up because it looked a little different i don't know what this was um yeah i think i picked that up as well and looked uh, at it I thought so it was it's, a, it's, a, it's amazing like how big a beach can be and people walk over the same area so you you see Oh, that's probably why we didn't find a whole lot today. There had been several other shellers out here as well. And it is kind of later in the day. We're like midday um, on a Saturday. So a lot of people have probably been out already. Oh, that one, it's broken. Oh, yeah. But I thought it was pretty broken. Yep. You guys know I would not discriminate if it wasn't for Mr. Oliver. I'd take all of them home. Um, oh, look at this little shell. That's like oh, the green. Yeah. That's cool. Now, what type of clam is this? I have seen this on things, and I'm not sure if it's that same type of Venus clam um, that is just like worn in those spots, but I don't think so. I think it actually has those deep grooves kind of already in that shell naturally. Y'all tell us what that is. It's not common for here, obviously. Oh, and a big periwinkle. And. Oh, look, look at, at there. that. It's like a crab tip. Yep. Oh. oh. Dropped it. Oh, um, one of these. But look at the color. That's cool. Look, this one, this egg casing. Oh, yeah. It's has even got another the, one. Yeah, oh. it's got the little tulip egg casings on it. That's cool, too. And they were all. And they may be dried. in there, too, because, yeah, they're just very dried out. Yeah. So they definitely wouldn't be viable anymore. But. I feel like there's some in there. We might have to like research. Yeah. I mean, not research, but search but inside then, those yeah. some more. Mm, just All a right. few different little some clams down yeah, in there. Clam shells. A couple shark eyes. Yeah. 
All right, thanks for sharing your finds with us, Regina. No problem. I did find. Um, We're headed back towards the beach. I mean, towards the guys in the boat. We're at the beach. I don't know if y'all ever talk backwards, but I talk backwards all the time, so y'all forgive me. That would be crazy if there was a million dollars under that because I don't know if I'd be able to see that many bills fit under that little tiny thing. I'd like to try it out though. Y'all, if y'all want to send that many bills and we'll stack them up under there and see if they can fit under. Y'all start sending them. We'll start stacking. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard crazy stories about people finding big bundles of money and all kind of craziness up on the beach. So, huh. that would be really crazy. So, what you been doing, Pappy? We've been watching the boat. Oh, okay. Did y'all fish any? Yeah, y'all yeah, did? Mommy. Oh, you done got you some snacks? What you eating? A pinwheel? Pecan? Or dog have We found a few things. Look at here. Wow. Probably the best kind find of, of the day. Yeah. I kind thought it might be with that big hump there. I think it's the kind of well because it's open wide. Okay. Big piece of a broken well with that coral on it. Oliver's definitely leaving his footprints in the sand. Sinking. Yeah, no more sinking. It's soft over on that side. Like footprints in the sand there as well. Yep. All right, guys, we hope you have enjoyed this video and make sure you give us a like, thumbs up, you know, subscribe if you haven't yet. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, all the coastal things we're doing. Until the next time, we'll see you. Thanks for watching. Check out our Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. We love you guys. God bless. He's pulled. Watch out, Odie. Pappy's coming right here with his fish. Come reel him in, Odie. Come help me, Odie. Go reel it. Help me, Odie. Help me, buddy. He is pulling. He's got to get back. Oh God, he's going to the boat. He's under the boat almost. Odie, help me. He's trying to get to the boat. Oh, I see it. I see the little shark. Oh. Here we go. Look at him, Odie. Go.
purple he is. Oh, man, ODJ. Look at that big shot, man, ODJ. What's your thing, ODJ? Atlantic sharp nose, as you can tell by the spots on him. And uh, in South Carolina, there's no size limit on him. We can't keep him. He swallowed my hook. I'm gonna have to go get something and get this thing out. Wow, that was a fight, though. Enjoyed it, didn't you, Odie? You enjoyed it? You wanna hold this for Pappy? Can you hold this wheel right here? Hold that reel right there. Hold it. Don't let him go. Hold him right there to kind of go get 